Okay, now the next phase of this painting is going to be creating some dynamic perspective by using those little squiggly light patterns that you always see in photographs of the sea floor that are shining through the waves at the surface and getting distorted to create those patterns. I'm going to use that to create the effect of larger foreground, smaller background, just like I scrunched these waves. The color I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this one here, this really light yellowish green. You can see that it's, I took this one here, that is my yellowest green that I used on the surface and added even more white to it. My brush stays real wet for this technique, so I'm just going to have my towel and my water handy the whole time as usual. And this paint is also going to be fairly watered down. So I'll just put a little line in here, watch. Put one this way. And then I'll take a bigger brush. Oh, that dried quick on me. Better move quicker. A little more paint, a little more water. That one still looks all right, though. do it again. Now with this technique, you want to interrupt, you know, you want to overlap and make lines interrupt each other. So I'll do something similar to this one right next to it, watch. Like that, and then I'll take this and I'll just feather it like this a little bit, not too much. I don't want to do it too much. What I want you to notice about this is that I scrunched my zigzags up here a lot more than I did here. You see, I was traveling downward a lot more as I was near the bottom of this picture. I was going sideways a lot more as I was near the top of this. So I want to try to be uniform in that way across this whole area. By the time I get up here, I want to be doing mostly horizontal lines. When I'm down here, I want to do a whole bunch of lines like this that have a lot more vertical movement to them. It's valuable to understand that the light is getting redistributed. Same amount of light, okay? It's, it's a limited amount of light, and if you stretch it away from one area, then you make it more in another area. If you're concentrating it in this area, then that means it's darker in the areas right next to it. So it's just like that polyester webby stuff you put all over your porch on Halloween you stretch it apart and, and you have strands of it that are more concentrated and you have an empty space in between where it's going to be even darker than it would have been. So I naturally have darker areas in here because my gradient is not perfect. It didn't need to be perfect. So I'll identify the darker areas and right next to those areas I'll put my brightest lines. Now you remember what I said about this is easy to wipe off if you mess up. 
So I really don't like the way this circle looks in the front anymore. I, I tried turning it into a big highlight. Didn't work. See, so this paint is very easy just to wipe off with water and a towel. I can go brighter on the highlights, but I want to do that with caution. So same color here, now I'm just adding pure white to it. I'll just put pure white on that edge right there. Now if I put a lot of this, then my seafloor is going to start looking equally as bright as my sky up there. Just, that's never going to happen. So if I have a bright sun in my picture, I don't want to make these highlights just as bright, but if I use real small amounts, then I can get away with it. So maybe just in that one little spot, I use that bright white, which is still mixed with the green. It's just the brightest white that's in there. Maybe some here. And I think I'll just do real loose zigzags all over it. Just see what happens by chance. anymore. I'm just gonna get rid of it. This picture has taken a turn in a different direction. Hi everybody. My name is Joe Cornelius, and I struggle with perfectionism. I admit that I'm not in control. I just stare at it, and then I think, oh, it'd look cool if I made a little line right there. Why would it look cool? I don't know. It just seems like it would. Now, what if there's something besides just a flat sea floor? I'll show you how to bend this around a three-dimensional object that's down there on that sea floor. Now to remember, they're not highlights if they're everywhere. <laughs> 